Hi guys, we're here to show you how to fit the wide arch kit to the Ford Ranger, the T6 as T7 model. You saw in the last video, we fitted the Ford Ranger grille. If you haven't saw that video, click in the top right hand corner, the link to that is there. And my technician now is about to show you how to fit these. Apply the nuts and bolts which are provided to the wheel arches. Clean the surface area with some panel cleaner and panel wipes. Use the panel cleaner and panel wipe again to clean the surface of the wide arch kit. Use the tube of adhesive primer to prime the surface of the wheel arch kit before applying the tape. Make a small incision of the tape to pull back the backing of the tape on each side. You'll see why we do this later on in the video. Unscrew and remove the tabs on the original arch which are holding the mud flap to the arch lining. Pull back the mud flap and the arch lining so you can apply the spire speed nuts. Slide the arch into place. This will go behind the arch lining and behind the mud flap. Use the screws provided to fix the mud flap and the arch lining to the arch. Use the original push pins in the bottom two locations of the mud flap. You should then end up with something which looks like this. You should then make sure the arch is positioned correctly before removing the backing of the tape which we cut earlier. For the very front of the arch we have already removed the removable pins. We now need to apply the spire speed nuts to the front of the bumper. Guide the front of the arch kit into place and use the screws provided to fit it into position. Then make sure the front of the arch kit sits into position before removing the backing of the tape the same way we removed the last arch. For the rear arch, we only need to remove the top push pin of the mud flap. But we then need to remove all of the push pins on the front of the arch lining. Apply the spire speed nuts in replacement of the push pins as done so before. Clean the arch as done so before. Then slide the wide arch gear into position and secure it with one of the screws provided. Remember the rear of the arch kit sits behind the mud flap. Again, make sure the rear arch sits into position and you can open the fuel flap before removing the backing tape. So hopefully we've cleared up how to fit the wide arch kit to the Ford Ranger. If you have any questions, put them in the comments box below. All the links to all the parts, as I said, will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching the video.